Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Today's video, we are going to be going over the Hopscotch Pilgrim. They have just recently brought this back with the Rise of Iron DLC. Now, you can get the Hopscotch Pilgrim as a random drop from the Crucible, and it does have the same fire rate as the Nerwin's Mercy. Now, I usually hate those types of Pulse Rivals, and at first, I kind of hated the Hopscotch Pilgrim as well, but I was using it for a few hours, and I finally managed to get a new role. Now, this role is the one with Spray and Play and Secret Round. Now this was the one that ended up being the one that I actually liked the most in the end because this one just seemed to perform better for me and I ended up getting a lot more kills so this is the one that I mainly prefer now and I'm most likely going to be scrapping my other two. Now at first I was doing really poorly with this gun and I figured that it was just bad and I wasn't really going to use it too much but after I used it a few more times and I really got used to it I found out this gun's actually really really good and you just really have to get used to it. It will take a little bit of time to really get used to it because the fire rate's kind of weird at first but the damage is pretty amazing. Now all of the Hopscotch Pilgrims that I got as drops had somewhere around a maximum stability, so the stability of this weapon is really, really good. So basically any of the sites that you want, you can pretty much use, and they're all really pretty effective. Now I chose to use the Quick Draw IS. This one is the easiest one for me to use in the end, and all you really have to do when using this weapon is just stay at a pretty decent range. You don't really want to be rushing into places or have a lot of really close range gunfights because you will basically lose almost every one. And if someone has a shotgun and you have the Hopscotch Pilgrim, it's definitely really difficult to kill them when you're close up. So you definitely do want to keep your range with this weapon. It's The fire rate is rather slow, but that's why it's actually really good, because you can manage to get a lot more headshots than normal. And the bullets will stagger people a lot, so they don't really have a lot of time to react, but you will end up having more time to aim just because of how slow it shoots. Now the only gun that I really found myself losing to was other Hopscotch Pilgrims. Anytime that I was at range, I was still just winning every gunfight, even against Midas. And the only thing that I ever traded with was with other Hopscotch Pilgrims. So this gun is the most effective at long range, but can still be used in somewhat medium range situations. The only thing that I would definitely stay away from is short range, but I could easily see using this in elimination, and especially if you're going against snipers, but you're a shotgunner, this could be the perfect primary to really still have some range on the people that are sniping against you. And the bullets do stagger people a lot, so you can easily just outgun any sniper before they even really have time to react with this gun, and it is definitely really effective, just depending on the role you get. Now, I did already get three of these, it wasn't really all that hard to get at all, and all I really did was play Rift and Control and just do some bounties, and that's how I ended up getting mine so quickly and so easily. So if you're trying to get the Hopscotch Pilgrim, all you really need to do is just hop on every day and do some bounties and really just play the normal Crucible objectives and eventually you should get one as a drop at the end of a game. So I did get three different rolls on my Nerwin's Mercy and I can definitely say that the Quick Draw IS is by far my favorite site on here and the Long View site was pretty good as well but it just was really not good if I was trying to play Elimination or anything like that so the Sure Shot was the one that I liked the best for the site. And Secret Round definitely did come in handy sometimes when I was missing those shots, but Head Seeker was definitely a better perk. However, this one just seemed to be a little bit better in the end, so I just stuck out with this Hopscotch Pilgrim instead. So, all the Hopscotch Pilgrims I got were decent. These ones just seemed to perform a little bit better just because of that spray and play perk. So if you get anything like that, you definitely do want to try to keep it. The one perk that I would stay away from is Third Eye. You can just get the artifact that gives you the more detailed radar anyways, and that is one of my more preferred artifacts, so I won't really be wanting to have Third Eye on any of my guns. So other than that perk, all the other perks that you can get on here are definitely pretty decent, and you shouldn't really have too much trouble doing good with any of the Hopscotch Pilgrims that you might get. So those are basically all my tips I have for you guys if you're trying to get a Hopscotch Pilgrim. Hopefully you guys do get one as well. If you do, let me know what kind of roles you guys get in the comments, how you guys liked your Hopscotch Pilgrim, and just like which one was really the best for you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.